Onjongo is a himba dance. It looks as if Zuma Kachuonga belongs here, but in some ways this Namibian is different. The 29-year-old works for the state TV broadcaster in the capital Windhoek. He trained there to become a lighting technician. Monday. Zuma Kachuonga is the only member of his family who went to school and learned to trade. The Himba tribe member has worked at the NBC studios for over five years. And for five years, his world has been the modern world of the capital, with its shopping malls, infrastructure and restaurants. Any extra money he has goes to his family. Sometimes he pays a visit to his people in Opuo, right up in northern Namibia. It takes a whole day for Zuma to reach his village. He hasn't seen his family for three months. Before he sees them, he needs to change his look. Now I have to change into my traditional clothes and get rid of this city, city life things. Yeah. So that I can go to my angle and go to the holy fire. Otherwise, I'm not going to eat or drink anything here down at home. Yeah. That's why I have to do all this. Along with traditional dress, a ferric oxide paste is applied to his skin. It's a mix of finely ground red sandstone and beef fat. It'll protect him against the sun and is a tribal tradition. Every homecoming is a celebration, and today is no exception. Except this time, his uncle has a surprise for him. In a tribal ceremony, Zuma is being married off. His uncle has more influence than Zuma's parents. He's considered an elder and a powerful figure. Here is the boy. He's been married in accordance with our tradition. He came home to marry. I will give him this jar of milk to drink from. He is gone and he has returned. I have married them. Now he has a wife. He has his wife. He is married. His new wife is also his cousin. That's another tradition among the Himba. Like now, I don't know, like something hard, like nightmare that I have now to go through it, to see how do I have to ex explain to the person that I've been with down in the city. Back to the modern world. In town, Zuma lives with a partner, a woman he also wants to marry. He's worried his partner in town will have little understanding for his situation. I really can't let her go like that. Yeah, I hope. Maybe she has something at the back of her mind that she's not wanna tell me now that is maybe going to tell me later. But I hope everything will remain the same. Uh. I felt bad. Someone who I've been with for almost two years to be told that he's getting he's getting married to someone else. I felt bad. My heart was broken. <laughs> you are special, you are the first one, even if I marry the first. I don't believe that. You know that the love is going to be shared amongst two people. I don't think it will be the same. I don't marry, nothing will change. Huh? Perhaps Zuma will be able to reconcile his two lives. Mm. And when we get down here, we forget macaroni, whatever, whatever. Um. But this is exactly what I wanted to ask. <laughs> the Himba tradition allows a man to have several wives. Gender roles are clearly defined. Mm. 
We Himbas are told from a young age that one day we'll marry our cousins. We just have to agree. Even if you don't want to, you have to marry your cousin. And then you stay home with your uncles or aunts. This is the Himba way. We marry among ourselves. This is a pressure that I have been living since my childhood, since I started school, because I have to balance my my life between two lives. I don't have any other option. It's something that I have to face. This is a life that I've been there. It's a life because I'm living two lives, the city life and my my original life where I come from. <laughs> Zuma Kachironga doesn't yet know if his life will change for the better or for the worse. But he does know that he will always go back to his people, the Himba. <laughs>